and drink. Concord's notable nose is affectionately known as a drink snoot, which is quite fun to say. So this year is a special year, it's the 50th, 50th anniversary of both the French and British prototype uh, first flights, and they took to the air for the first time on the 2nd of March and the 9th of April 1969, respectively. But our Concorde here, GBOF Alpha Fox Drops 216, took to the skies on the 20th of April 1979, so next Saturday is also Alpha Fox Drops 40th anniversary. So uh, we're lowering the nose in honour of that, but also next Saturday we'll be celebrating with special Concorde tours available to the public, uh, book at our admission test, turn up early if you fancy guaranteeing a spot. Alpha Fox Drops above me here was the last ever Concorde to fly and the last to be built and landed on the 26th of November 2003 here. She took off from Heathrow to make the final ever flight of any Concorde, British or French. She performed a fly pass of Filton here where she was assembled and born, flew around Bristol to thank Bristolians for their support over the years and the engineers for their hard work and then flew over the Clifton Suspension Bridge for that iconic photo of two titans of engineering from two different centuries, both Bristol though, creating that fantastic picture. And finally landed in Filton here, her final uh, resting place and her birthplace, and, and like all British Concords, assembled just across the runway in the aircraft assembly hall, otherwise known as the Brabazon Hangars, which may or may not become our new arena, but we don't know about that yet. Mm. She taxied down the runway with nose lowered and union flags <laughs> waving out of the cockpit windows to the gathered crowds who assembled to witness this event. Thousands of people, many tears were shed. Since Alpha Foxtrot was decommissioned and drained of hydraulic fluids, her nose has remained, as you see it, in the up position. But thanks to Zeus Hydrotech for supplying a bespoke motor and hydraulic pump, thanks to Exxon who provided the original Concorde MV, M2V hydraulic fluid, and of course lots of hard work from our loyal and hardworking volunteers, we can now show you this special feature of Concorde. Concorde had to have a nose that could be lowered uh, due to the high angle of attack, its nose pointing in the sky when landing and taking it off. So the nose was lowered to allow the pilots to see the runway. I will be doing a short talk later on more in depth why it had to have a lowerable nose uh, upstairs and about quarter past uh, on the balcony up there if you fancy join. But without further ado, all we need to do is wake up Alpha Foxtrot. So if you join me in a countdown, starting with 10, seems a good place. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Thank you. 